Journey planning apps are one way to capitalize on transport data and it's been put to practical use across the continent. Taking a look at the Gao Train app, the level of detail is astonishing. I can check on trains, I can look at schedules and importantly, I can look at bus routes, making the journey from train to road a seamless one. A Ugandan entrepreneur has been looking to make bus travel across East Africa easier through creating an online bus ticketing app called Yuga Bus. Yuga is a local Nigerian word meaning connecting. Every morning I wake up, I tell myself I have to offer that extra step. I have to put in place an extra infrastructure, an extra idea. So what pushes me every day is the need to make people's lives better. The idea for a more reliable and convenient way to book buses came to Ronald Hakiza after falling prey to fake ticket sellers as he travelled across East Africa. In total, I've been to 207 towns in East Africa. And throughout that whole process, I looked at how we struggled to buy tickets in those different towns. And I said to myself, really? In this era, something should change. So I love the fact that I'm offering a solution, and so many people are using it. Yugabus launched in 2015 to enable travelers in East Africa to search, compare, and book a bus ticket in under three minutes. Christine Kabazira lives and works in Uganda's capital, Kampala, and is one of 12,000 of the app's subscribers. I think it's the very first of its kind in Uganda and East Africa. So this was a very good initiative because you know the hassle that comes with booking buses, going to the bus and the crowds, especially now in the COVID times, the fact that you don't have to touch money. And when you confirm payment, they send you an SMS on your phone. So all you need to go is just go to the bus station and show them the SMS and they will just take you straight to your seat. Right now, passengers are able to book over 200 routes across five countries in East Africa, Uganda, South Sudan, Kenya, Rwanda and Tanzania, with Zambia being targeted next. A perk to the app is discounted tickets, often cheaper tickets than you can buy at the bus stations. But despite this, Link Bus Services based in Kampala credit Yugabus with providing up to 1,000 extra daily passengers since joining the app a year ago. Yugabus has been beneficial in such a way that it's able to bring in passengers that we probably would never have seen. Yeah, so they go through the app but for us, we've uh, been ordinarily operating with passengers that walk in. So it's uh, unique also in that way. Ultimately, Ronald is looking to make the app a one-stop shop for all his passengers' needs, including the ability to save for future trips using the Yuga Bus wallet. We're building a bus ecosystem, something that brings together the entire bus online digitally, that when you look at the bus, right from luggage to passenger travel, to ticketing, to experiences, everything should come online. I have friends from Kenya and Tanzania whom I study with. So one of these days, we shall use the Yuga bus app to go there. Some public transport buses and trains follow a formal schedule, others are more informal, as their routes and stops are always changing. Like South Africa's minibus taxis, which account for 75% of daily transport in the country in 2020. 